this past week has been a pretty rocky road for Disney. I mean, you know, we had some things happen like um, 99% of Disney cast members to vote to authorize strike. Doesn't mean they're going on strike. Just means they authorize the strike if they don't get their way. Uh, we had Walt Disney stock plummets. This was last Tuesday, Wall Street Journal. Uh, why did the stock plummet? Well, it's because Ike Perlmutter liquidated his $3 billion stake in the Walt Disney Company, citing management issues. So yeah, Ike Perlmutter just said, you know what? I'm out of here. Oh, and by the way, if the stock drops to about $65 a share, because I sold my stock at $115, I'm going to buy back in. Nothing like making a little money off the mouse house, huh? But to top it all off, we have this from Jay, Drunk 3PO. Gina Carano's case against Disney is officially moving forward. Uh-oh. That's right. Breaking news. This was of yesterday afternoon. This released late yesterday. Disney's motion to dismiss Gina Carano's lawsuit has been denied. In court documents obtained by that Park Place, U.S. Ju District Judge Sherilyn Peace Garnett has denied the request by Walt Disney Company to dismiss Gina Carano's lawsuit. When Gina Carano and her lawyers against the Walt Disney Company, Lucasfilms attempt to dismiss her. According to the Judge Garnett, Disney, Lucasfilm, and Huckleberry have failed to set forth an impenetrable defense under the First Amendment. The court denies defendant's motion. Now, remember, that's about a month ago when they had the hearing on Disney's motion to dismiss. And at that time, it sounded like the judge was leaning toward Gina Carano and, and moving her lawsuit forward. And time has gone on, time has gone on, time has gone on, and this, this drops. Now, what's good about it is, is the fact that in moving forward, that means we can get to the discovery phase. We get to the discovery phase. I'm sure there's a lot of things Disney doesn't want to come out in discovery. So I'm sure they're going to do a full court press to settle. And in a recent video from uh, Valiant Renegade, he actually answered, asked Gina the question, whether she would settle if Disney offered a settlement. And her answer was not no and not yes, but it's something to think about. And, um, you know, with everything that's happened to her, everything that has happened to her from being fired for expressing her beliefs. Meanwhile, others, uh, Jack Black, even though Jack Black isn't a main character in the Mandalorian universe, the Star Wars universe, still what Jack Black recently uh, has said and supported. Uh, you've got on the Marvel side, Mark Ruffalo. On the Star Wars side, Pedro Pascal. All these people are able to express themselves freely and openly. Why? Because they align with the beliefs within Disney. Whereas Gina. Gina's got different beliefs and she expresses herself and she gets terminated. And according to this judge, at least one can infer wrongfully terminated. So here's what Gina had posted on X yesterday. The court denies defendant's motion. I am moved to tears after a brutal three and a half years. I'm being given the opportunity to move forward in the court of law before the judge and my peers to clear my name. I am so grateful for this opportunity. What happened to me was unacceptable, absurd, and abusive. Among other things, it should not have happened to me, and it should not happen to anyone else moving forward. Let it stop there, or let it stop here. I quite literally fought to get to where I got to, to in my career through intense ups and downs, and I'll keep up that fight to continue doing what I love. I appreciate all of you who stood by me and defended me. I am so sorry that similar situations have happened to some of you. I want you to know that I see you and I stand with you. 
Thank you, Elon Musk, a man I have never even met, who so graciously gave me a fighting chance. Thank you for standing for justice for all of humanity. May God bless you and your family for years to come because he has chosen you for such a time as this. Heart emoji. And then she shows the interview she did with Ben Shapiro. And Jay has it here, the conclusion, and this is the in the judge, um, in the judge's, judge's brief. In conclusion, in sum, defendants have failed to set forth an impenetrable defense under the First Amendment. Accordingly, for the foregoing reasons, the court denies defendants' motion. It is so ordered. Honorable Sherilyn Peace Garnett, United States District Judge, July 24th, 2024. So there you go. Like I said in the beginning, it's been a bad week for Disney. What do you guys think about this? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.